so in this video we'll be building the search user functionality for our website and we'll be searching user by the name and the email so let's get started building this and um, let's go over i'll start um, the npm watch command and also the php artisan command so the first thing i need to do is actually create an event i'm going to create a click event right here And this will be a search and uh, I'm using a click event because I want whenever a user clicks on this button I want to run the for the method the search method another thing you can do is you can another thing you can do is you can add a keyboard event so whenever the user is typing the method is being executed and uh, I'm, I don't really like this because uh, a lot of requests will be sent to your server and this can bring down your browser it can slow it down and uh, depending on the network to driving so it all depends on you you are the developer so everything depends on you but I'm just going to stick with the button for now Whenever a user clicks this button, I want to run the search method. So right here, I want to have a a data binding, and this will be a V model, and this will be search word. So I need to create that search word in, right here in my view file. So this will be search word. So that is the search word. And because this is a two-way data binding, if you don't know what a two-way data binding is, please go and check it out. I can do this. So uh, I think we're getting an error here. And the reason why we're getting the error is if we should check our console log. And that is the search method is not defined. So let's just define the search the search method and try this again. So right here let's just say search. So let's just say a lot this dot search word. And for now, I think that should do. So let's wait for that to compile and let's refresh this page. So right here, because we're using a two-way data binding, I can do this right here. You can see uh, what I'm typing is showing right here. And if I should click a lot, I have it right here. So this is what a two-way data binding does. And, uh, yeah. So uh, let's just remove this for now since we have that and let's just work with the search keyword. So right here we want to send a get request and let's just do that right now. This will be rcls.get. Uh, for now uh, let's just use the Let us use this. Uh, where is it? This load loading. So let's just define it to be true here. So this will be true. On getting the result, we change it back to false. So right here, we're going to say search slash user, and right here, we're going to say search equal to and we're going to concatenate that and right here we're going to say this the search word and getting the results we're going to say this dot users is equal to response first we need to get the response here 
a response dot data dot users and if we get an error we need to catch those errors and actually say and right here i'm just going to say like you can just bring it bring in an a toast or anything and just say uh, right here i can just say success uh, error right here i can just say search failed so that's the user method um so that's the search method and let's just try this and let's just keep an eye on the network and actually see how it goes and let's refresh that page let's see that and click search so you can see the search right here you can see the search keyword and everything and let's just see this so you can see search field so you can see the search keyword right here and this is what we're actually going to be working with so the first thing we need to do is actually create the route for that so this will be a get and this will be search Search. So let's just create this method right here, and let's just say public function search. Um, because we are, have a request, I'm going to say request dollar sign request. And right here, and for now, I'm just going to return dollar sign request and let's just see this in action let's click that so we get a 200 and you can see the response and that's the name right here so uh what we're going to do now is We're going to assign this to a variable. We're going to say dollar sign um, search word is equal to dollar sign request, and this will be a get. This will be s. So we're getting everything. The we're getting the search word, and we can actually return this for you to actually see so let's just return dollar sign search word and this should be dollar sign and let's see that again let's see that so you can see the search word right here so we can now actually go on and search for the user so right here i will just say users equal to the user model and i'll say where and this we have a callback function the i'll give it a variable of query you can call it whatever you want and i'm just going to say use and i'll pass this variable right here to it so i'll say dollar sign search word so i'll close this right here i'll say get uh i can say latest so it's align so it's arranged them in the order of uh decreasing order so i cannot start writing the query so i can say query can i say where where name like 
so this will also be a string like so search word now we also say or oh, where yeah. so this should be on another line or oh, where yeah, email like dollar sign search word now i'm going to close this right here so you can see all that and uh we're getting the latest and we're getting uh the results for this query and we're saving everything in this we're saving everything in this user variable and if we should go far to our uh index like get or you can see we did a transform right here so let's just copy this So this we also get the name of the rules and also the permissions and so uh, let's just for now let's just return response and we return a JSON and we want to return an array I'll say users let's go to dollar sign user and the status code will be a 200 so that's all we need to do for now and let's just let's just see this and see if we're getting any results now we have a 500 error it says undefined user or defined variable user so let's just try and see that line so right here is actually users so let's try that again so we have a 200 and we have no results for this user and let's just refresh this page and try and try uh, we can see the name right here uh, let's just try the email let's just try to search with the email and let's see that Right here, we're still getting an empty return. And let's see if we get this correctly. So I think that should be a double quote. And let's try this again. So we're getting the result and you can see the user right here, the user with the email. So let's try another the name. Let's see that we're getting the result also. But what happens uh this spin is still showing, this loading sign is still showing. We don't really want that. I don't know why it's still showing, but let's just try to fix that. And right here we say loading is true which should be false by the way so loading true i uh, should be false so let's check our code so right here should be false so let's just try and refresh this so let's try and search for alex let's click search so we have alex right here and uh, let's search for paul so we have paul right here so what happens if the user doesn't click yeah okay this worked perfectly this work perfectly the way i want it to and um, so that's how you do a search so this is not a deep search 
for the sake of this project this is just uh, we're just searching for the name and the email uh, let's just try the email right here let's see that let's search so we've gotten the email so it all depends on how you want to do it so uh, this is how I'll so uh, this will be all for this video I'll see you in the next video and I think the only thing left is the changing of profile image so I'll see you in the next video guys so make sure you subscribe to this channel if you're new and I'll see you in the next video so bye guys